and a wife who have been trying to conceive they've been trying to have a baby only to discover that the wife had actually previously undergone a tubal ligation mm. Mm. that means she tied her tube without informing her husband and this shocking revelation brings complexity of trust and communication in marriage raising significant question about the impact of hidden choices on a marriage mm. or a relationship. Mm. I want you to take a listen. Don't want to have a baby? My tubes are tied. What? Oh. Yeah. Yo, tubes tied. Did you know that her tubes were tied? So you got a uh, chastity belt on a mushu? So you did not know that her tubes were tied. So you thought that when you got married, y'all were going to be able to have a family. Okay. Mm. For real, Toya? So I'm I'm thinking that something's wrong with me, right? And I'm saving up money or whatever to try to get me together or whatever stuff for you, right? Mm. Make our marriage whole. So how long have you had your tubes tied? It's 2018 hmm. after 18. <laughs> so I'm shooting, so I'm thinking I'm shooting blanks, or whatever, and and oh, it ain't me, huh? Oh. Wow. Mm -mm. Okay. Well, so that oh. came from the Camaro mm. show, Caramo show. my darling bride podcast powered by refuge and fortress network it is yours faithfully as sincerely pastor emmanuel Ludamsi, and i have with me first lady O, and i would try to connect pastor pk hello all the way from waterbury connecticut hello 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 so how's everybody doing everybody's good everybody's good it's good all right how's everybody doing <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little sleepy, but you know, you all right? Like it's starting to get cold now. It is starting to get cold. How's the, how's the weather over there in, in Waterbury? No, it won't start with me, man. <laughs> don't, yeah. don't, don't, Freezing? Don't, don't do it. Don't get me there. <laughs> I mean, it's warm on this side of the coast. You know? That's why I said don't get me there. You're still... You're still, you're still it's kind of like warm. You know? <laughs> Not really in sweaters yet. <laughs> You know, it gets chilly, but then it gets hot. Uh, yeah, know? I was talking to my cousin yesterday, and it, it was like it's still summer, summer here. I'm like, yep. you know, it's you still. Can I, I just can't. I can't stop you. <laughs> I mean, hands down, we got the best weather in the country, man. Yes, we you know, do. Hands down. Don't All right. But anyway, if you are yet to subscribe, please go ahead and do so now. Also, comment down below and share this episode with a friend or two. Yes. And let them help us chime in on today's discussion. The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15, Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become, in every respect, the nature of or the mature body of him who is the head, and that is Christ. When we speak the truth in love, we will be able to grow in every respect the mature into the mature body of him who is the head, and that is Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. The thing about it is, in marriage, honesty, we've talked about it multiple times, yeah. honesty is foundational. Mm -hmm. I mean, key. it's key. You feel me? If you don't have honesty, you can just forget about it altogether, right? right. When one partner hides a significant decision, mm. whether you made it during the marriage or you made it before, before the marriage, mm -hmm. it's a decision that was decided. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you hide something like that, like a medical procedure. Or, mm? or, it, or, or a significant past is history. Yeah. Or a significant that can right, affect that can affect their future, mm -hmm. you know? Like a medical procedure that affects the couple's family planning, which is, again, like you were saying, their future, it can lead to feeling of betrayal yes. and hurt. In this case, we see the wife tying her tube, right? Mm -hmm. And she may face dire consequences, including the feeling of guilt, including shame, including potential breakdown of losing trust, her husband's trust, losing her husband's trust, right? Their shared dreams and hopes for a family are now shaken. Yeah. Right. And it raises the question, how do we move mm. on? How do we move forward from a revelation like this? How does this man move forward? How do they move forward in their relationship 
obtain the grace of God. After a revelation like this, this is heavy. 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 What y'all think about? It? I mean, I want you to chime in on this. This, this is this is heavy. Go ahead. Go. go. I mean, like you said, whether she did it before, mm-hmm. during, or after, mm-hmm. it's still a problem. They know you after, know, yeah. I, I mean, the three of it is a problem. The three of the three stages is a problem. There's no, there's no after. Yeah. Uh, after marriage now. Why do we didn't before, after marriage? No, there's marriage, no after now. During marriage, yes. even in the afterlife, it's still a problem. Uh-uh. <laughs> yeah, go and sleep. <laughs> I told you I was tired. <laughs> oh, no. <sighs> Keeping this we'll, from my husband. We'll call you, you when we are done. <laughs> <laughs> doing it is not necessarily the problem. Mm-hmm. Because she could have many reasons why she needed to get it done. Yeah. Right? Yeah. The issue is the not hiding. letting her husband know. Yeah. To not make it worse, actively trying with her husband yeah. to that's, have a kid. You know? Like, oh. like she forgot that she tied her to. <laughs> <laughs> she had amnesia that it happened. That's I mean, important she thing to forget. leapt off when it happened. She didn't know oh when it was happening. Goodness. That's crazy. It, 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 it sounds like fraud to me. Honestly. Yeah. Mm. I'm mm. telling you, that's deep. Mm. <laughs> like it's the man, like the man didn't know what he was getting. Yes, exactly. Mm. Yes, mm. exactly. She yes. played him because, because, yeah. because that would have that would have been part of his decision making to exactly. whether move forward with the marriage or not. Yeah, exactly. You but, can't do that. But the question I want to, uh, I, I guess, we should be asking now is, what could have possibly been the reason for her hiding it is it because you know there wasn't an environment where she could share that kind of thing where she could discuss that kind of thing or she just selfishly to hide that because she she's made up her mind that she didn't want to have a child but she still wants to have a husband like what could possibly be your reasoning so we can't we can't really know for a fact um why she tied it but what what is the reason it sounds more selfish to me than anything else because mm. like pl rightfully said there's there would have been many good times or i mean good times yeah. that she should have that she could have brought yeah, it up yeah. absolutely you know but she she didn't and you, you, you know you know what i would <laughs> never understand and mm-hmm. i would never understand is this shows uh it's like it's like um uh, maury show right oh, mm-hmm. where you don't <laughs> you have they have an issue they have a problem you don't get to talk about it at home you don't, you don't get to figure out the situation out at home but you have to bring it all the way to, <laughs> to the I, tv I right there's a reason why some people do that <laughs> funny enough I, I, never, I never get it they feel justified in doing it that way because sometimes, okay, one would say, what what could be a reason? There could be many reasons why she did it. It could be a good reason, maybe some medical situation mm. as to why she... We're talking about why she hid it, right? Sometimes, some women are afraid to tell their husband some things mm. because they don't know how he would react. Okay. So maybe she didn't want to lose him. It's so bringing good. it on if the she, stage would make it better? No, some people feel like if they bring it in a certain situation, in a certain environment, maybe they'll be able to accept it. Maybe it was softer for them to take it than if they told them privately. Mm. Some people think like that. Some or, people or, think... Or maybe they get um, uh, buy-in <laughs> from other people. Right, they get support, support that can maybe help convince the husband, mm. okay, but see it this way. You know, if you bring a third party in, they can help you explain it better. Yeah. But it's like... <sighs> The guy, the man is not an African man. That's the only way that can work. Now let's 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 even forget about the reasoning behind the situation. Now let's ask this question: How can we create an environment where opening up is allowed? It's okay. I like that question. Yeah. Because yeah. a lot of relationships and a lot of marriages they go through stuff like this yeah. where they don't right. feel comfortable enough to talk to their spouse because they don't know how the spouse will react. Will react. I yep. think that fear is what ha- has people omit and stuff and hide and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. So when we talk about creating an environment, it's talking about letting the person feel comfortable enough to come to, to you. To share. Regardless 
you feel yes you can re- you can be upset you can be whatever the way you f- however you want to react and depending on the situation i get it like as human beings you sometimes you're reactive mm-hmm. before you think about it and then you calm down you're like okay maybe i shouldn't have reacted that mm-hmm. way but right. i think trying to think about it ahead of time when especially when you're dealing with your husband and your wife is know that you're talking to your spouse you guys are having a conversation so that way you guys are f- you guys feel comfortable enough to talk to each other mm-hmm. let them let them be a listener listen to what they're saying try to understand their perspective without reacting in a harsh I like way. I like that do you understand like what I'm saying? because that I, reaction is really what they it's do. really what the fear is afraid of. absolutely absolutely listen we all have a past okay but that past can either work for us or work against us in a relationship depending on yeah. how openly you deal with it mm-hmm. so it's okay for you to have tough conversations early before they blow up in your face. You get what I'm saying? Couples need to, um, uh, or we couples, I should say, uh, we need to create space where um, vulnerability is welcome and not punished. The question is, how do we do that? That's the question. Well, I I, I said the action. Okay, yeah, so one the action. Instead of flipping out, l- listen. So that's the first thing you must uh, other ways is to is to, I guess when you have created um, some kind of trust between each other you you would be able to understand that your past is your past it doesn't define you now so that would help to at least uh, 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 soften the the, the the conversation uh, and the atmosphere of that conversation right now. So at least I, I, in everything, communication is important. You, you need to be able to communicate with each other. So if you're able to, if you if you've been able to build the trust, then it, it will be safe to talk. You know, another thing that I also believe to helps with the um, with the with the sharing with the with the with the with creating an atmosphere and environment where it's easy for couples to open up and, and say what's on their mind and things like that. I mean, you guys are, have, have said some really good points, but the one thing that I would also add to is that I found that it, 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 it's, it's, it's easy for people to share when they hear you share too, right? Mm. When you come and you share, you get vulnerable with them, they right. also open up to you, mm-hmm. right? It, yeah, it makes absolutely. it reciprocal. You know what I'm absolutely. saying? Absolutely. So if the man, one of the ways we create an environment where we're easy, where it's easy for us to share is because, first of all, you've you've given me the hand of fellowship by first mm-hmm. sharing with me. Mm-hmm. And when I see the depth and the, the, the level of things you're sharing with me, it's like, wow. Mm-hmm. And then I also know that this thing you're sharing with me, you probably wouldn't share with somebody else. You probably wouldn't right. tell somebody you else. Feel, you feel some kind of privilege to exactly. To so you'd be like, "Well, you, you must really think of me highly." So then, the next time I'm going through something, I feel comfortable. You enough feel comfortable to come to, to, come to me and yeah. ask me about that. I think a lot of couples, a lot of a lot of couples, miss that. The yeah. funny thing about that is, we are able to do that for somebody else, yes, mm. but not for, but ourselves. Not for ourselves. Yeah, like you know what I like. I'm sorry. You know why I like that point you just uh, raised now? Um, it's even better, right? If you're able to do that, it's not easy, but it's even better if you're able to do that uh, before the problem actually surfaces. Mm-hmm. Are you following what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. for example, if you create an environment like that before there is even if a you, problem. If you create an environment like that, yes. But yeah. if, for example, this situation, mm-hmm. right? Um, say either before marriage or even after marriage, maybe like PL said, uh, she she just developed amnesia. Uh, if after marriage she had called her husband and said, "Well, this is the situation we have. This is what the situation." Even before they maybe they say say they've been trying to get uh, a pregnant for two three years now, and th- instead of going going through with that. She had called her husband earlier and said, this is the situation on ground. By the time the situation, um, the problem actually surfaced, the the husband already has an information Mm -hmm. that this is what our past has been. 
Mm-hmm. So, for example, say she had uh, she had not gone to the extent of mm-hmm. tying the two. Maybe it's mm-hmm. um, oh uh, she had had multiple um, abortion, right? Mm-hmm. Abortion doesn't necessarily mean that she's not gonna get pregnant, but it, it could it. it could affect her. Fertility. So, if instead of hiding that from her husband. If, if they've had a conversation, created uh, an atmosphere that is safe uh, and they've had that conversation in the past, when it gets to the point where they, they, they continue to try over and over again and they haven't had, uh, they, they've not been able to get pregnant, the husband already knows that this is our past and this mm-hmm. might, might contribute to it. Mm-hmm. So instead of getting offended uh, uh, afresh, they would know where to channel the the, the, the energy. If yeah. it's to pray, if it's to get more counseling, whatever it is, it's not at that point in time, maybe two, two three years down the line that you've been trying. And then you'll be like, mm. as a, a, by the way, this is the situation, of, mm. this is my past situation. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And another thing I wanted to add to that, uh, which you find happens in a lot of marriages and relationships is, we need to learn to be more graceful. Not specifically tied to this um, situation in general. And I'll come back to the situation. But we need to be more graceful and less judgmental. You will notice that we're more harder on ourselves than other people around us. Maybe for good reason. But sometimes it causes us to be more harsh it causes us to not give grace to each other. And in situations where we want to be open and communicate with each other, if I know that you will be graceful, depending on the situation, with me, comfortable to be able to come to you and talk to you about it. Does that make sense? If I know you're not going to judge me on the matter, it makes me more comfortable to come to you and talk to you about it. But I do want to say, in this situation, tying the tube... Like we said, it's not the problem. It's her not telling her husband. This information is such a big deal in marriage, especially a, ma- a couple that wants to have kids. This is something you knew before you got married. This information should have been divulged before they even got married. Mm. During, before, uh, if she did it during a marriage, that's even a bigger problem. They say after marriage one more time. <laughs> <laughs> if she did it after her marriage, also I'm doing a bigger, bigger problem. <laughs> Just wait. But if she did it, if she did it during her marriage, then they ha- they even have a completely different problem to even hash out. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because for her to to go do that behind his back without him knowing, <laughs> that's a decision they should have made together during yeah. the marriage. Right. But if it's before the marriage, it's understandable. Many situations could have come up that had made her do that. But that's an information you tell somebody. That just that's look at the what the guy said. The whole time he thought he was shooting blanks. Mm. He's probably going through medical different different medical procedures, trying to figure mm. out what's going on with him. He's probably taking shots. Probably you know like whatever the case may be, mm. try to figure out maybe he's the problem. Do you understand? So that's information you have to tell somebody before you get married. Things that could affect your life, your marriage life. That is information you communicate before you say, I do. You don't communicate that after. Because then, if the person doesn't give grace, you can understand why. Mm, Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think about it too is, is, oh, are you done? No, no, I'm done. That's so was ending. Another thing about it too was, um, was, was that I would say too, as far as creating a safe environment that is, you know, make it open for people to share too, is agreement. Right. If we agree from the on- onset, look, this relationship, let's, for example, I, I know a lot of people that do it when they've previously been in a relationship and they're now in a new relationship or in a new marriage. They will say, there was a lot of secrets in my previous marriages, in my previous relationship. I don't want to do I don't that. Want to do that. Yeah. Like I want Tell open. Me everything. Tell me everything. Don't be afraid. Don't be worried. I'm, I'm going to react. Just, I would rather you talk to me about everything you open up with to me than you hide something in trying to protect my feelings. Right. No, just tell me everything. So it all depends too if we have an agreement in place for how we're going to run this relationship. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. But but you mentioned something about grace just now, right? That we're not graceful enough for one another. We don't give each other enough grace. In the marriage. Of in the marriage that we're more gracious towards other 
than we are towards one another, even in marriage. It's crazy because I was talking about that. We were talking about that earlier before we even got on yeah. to begin recording how mm -hmm. you see some interracial... Uh, uh, it, what I was saying was black men and black women, for whatever reason, there's this unspoken animosity sometimes that is going on amongst Absolutely. the two a, a black men and a black woman. Yeah. Whereby... Right. If a black man was married to a white woman, you won't see you that, wouldn't see that kind of animosity. Or a black woman, or a black woman and white man, you wouldn't necessarily see that. But for whatever reason, when we are together, mm -hmm. black on black, it's like we we're have hard this, on each we're other. harder on each other, mm -hmm. and it doesn't need to be that way. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, especially, and you see that even the the white our white brothers and sisters, they're not like they're that. They're not like that with each mm -hmm. other. They have they they afford each other they give grace. Each other grace yeah. So why can't we do that with one another? Absolutely. You follow what I'm saying? But the, 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 the reason why I kind of just did that detour on, on the matter of grace is because I want to see that is it possible that they are able to move and this is important that I ask this question mm -hmm. is it possible that they are able to move on and actually forgive each other and actually hear from this why because again if it was a black on white matter you have that softness in your heart for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. I don't. I can't explain it. I don't yeah. know what it is. It's but you crazy. Can't, yeah. But baby, right. shouldn't have done that. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, more understanding. Mm -hmm. But if a, if it's a black on black, you'd be like, you right. did what? Mm -hmm. Funny. Funny enough, they would probably yeah. even be more. Uh, uh, what is the word? Uh, concerned about the uh, about the about the person. So like they would they would want to know why they did that was their problem and yeah. this and that yeah it's yeah. yeah. still under yeah it's still considered grace but yeah. you know what I'm saying so so in, in given the situation this is a black on black people now right given that situation how first of all is it possible to heal and build trust again number one number two how how do they go about healing from this and rebuilding the trust. In all honesty, yeah. yes, it's possible to heal okay. and build trust. With the help of God, you can forgive and be able to move on. How realistic is that? Realistic? It's realistic. I would say 50-50. Okay. Right? Depending on the people, depending on the individuals. I think the issue at hand with this situation mm -hmm. is not, it's not that he's forgiving the time of the tube. Mm. He's forgiving. He has to forgive the omission. The omission. Of it, which makes it harder. Maybe even the time of the tube. But, yeah, but you, the, you, the you, primary let's thing let's is it was omission. just the time of the tube. Yeah. Because, and I said, you know what? There's other ways we could have kids. Yeah. We could adopt. We could get surrogacy. Like we mm -hmm. could figure it out if yeah. that's mm -hmm. the case. Yeah. So when it comes to moving on, yes, you can move on on that situation. Yeah. There's other ways to still have a family. Mm -hmm. There's a solution for that. Yeah. I think his issue is the trust now. Right. If because you if you like this on... Magnitude, right, right. For right. me... What else are you keeping? Right. What else are you keeping? I trust you moving forward. Mm -hmm. That's the issue. Okay, so I, I, feel like, I feel like that's the part where it's like, can he forgive that? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Throwing the question back at you. I'm throwing it back at you. <laughs> you men, can you forgive that? <laughs> As men? Women are more forgiving men. than men. Do we agree? Uh, no. Women are more forgiving than men. Do we agree? I agree. In relationships and marriages, women are more forgiving than men. I agree. I do not. No. Why, do, why don't you? Please explain. Because I don't know. That's it. So you're just being biased. <laughs> <laughs> you, just, you just you just refuse to accept. Yes. Okay. When two people say they agree. I I must say. Yeah, you, you but. Ah. Hey, no. That's 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 a that's a devil's trick. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't let the devil use you now. <laughs> no, I I think I think you I I don't know I don't know I think you are partially correct. Um. I think it's both ways. I, that, I, I, I'm now, what, what is both ways? Both ways in the sense that I do not fully agree that women are more forgiving. Forgiving? I don't think so. I think it can go both ways. Let I, me ask you this I question. Both ways. Let me ask you this question. 
if you cheat on your wife, I mean, not you, but you know, if you cheat on your wife, for example, not me, forget, not me, not you, not you. Not if you. a man you, cheats you, on his wife, you, you uh, wouldn't. Uh, I mean, you, 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 you of all people wouldn't. Better not. <laughs> better not. <laughs> I have a machete under my bed. <laughs> and I can pull out. Sure. I just fly, fly down to Greg and real quick. What did happen? You. you? <laughs> but no no if 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 a man cheats on his wife right, right the woman correct me if i'm wrong let's go the woman the woman is more be like you know what you son of a gun even but i still love upset. you even if she's upset you know what I'm saying even if she's upset she'll say you son of a gun but i still love you and she will move on and be like you know what i'm not gonna leave you to that girl because i would rather have you than let somebody else have you so she would do everything she can to forgive and move on if a woman cheats on a man though because it's not that because it's not that you just did an act of atrocity by sleeping with somebody else now you disrespected me man and respect so you didn't disrespect the woman that's the thing the woman doesn't take it as that she doesn't take that as a disrespect not necessarily right right what what the man is upset about is not the acts the woman is upset the about the acts act. yeah, yeah the man is upset about the ego you're right the the, 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 the how dare you disrespect me like that I get it. with another man because you know it's man to man now i'm yeah. not even looking at yeah. you I get i'm it. looking at the man like what he got that i don't have yeah I get you feel it. me but the right. woman is more concerned about the fact that wow, you such a dog. Like men are scum. I what? think honestly, the reason why we say the reason why I said that is because the truth of the matter is women are more emotionally emotionally catered invested than men. Mm-hmm. So that makes us a little soft-hearted when it comes to somebody we love and care about. More forgiving, yeah. Not saying the men don't feel that way or doesn't forgive. But there's some things that men would be like, nah, I can't even turn. Hold on, on, let's go back. So what brought this up again? Why? Why did we? <laughs> mm-hmm. We were talking about we were how talking to find about... peace and trust and rebuild trust in the relationship. Yes. Again. Yes. You know, you were saying that you wanted to throw the question back at us to see if we were willing to forgive, right? And move. The on. reason why I said is because if it, the, the situation was flipped, flipped, the woman would probably forgive. And that's I, I'm what I'm trying to do is now separates mm. the question to say men versus women okay if it was a woman in the situation yeah maybe she can forgive and move on yeah. it's probably more feasible you, you could probably see that more but the man in this situation can he forgive and move on is yeah. what I, why i brought that up yes thank you and thank you and that. and my answer to that is don't speak like a pastor oh okay so hmm because mm. sometimes we, we as if, as, mm. we're about to bring some Bibles and spirit. We know God wants us. To mm, I get it. We talk um, about real reality, realistically now. PK, mm, mm, help mm. me, help me here. Because <laughs> so am I allowed to speak like a pastor? No, you are not. Nobody <laughs> right now. Based on this question, I thought, I thought that was just for your own. No. <laughs> I want you to speak like Babaella oh, and Babaella. Because the Bible says. Don't speak like a PK. Don't speak like a pastor. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> let me, let me, let me, let me try this. As a try man, this. is mm-hmm. that something you can forgive? That's what as I'm a asking. man, yes. My answer was not going to be pastoral, but my answer is: I, I think as a man, it is forgive, depending on the woman. And okay. depending on the woman, and the reason why I say depending on the woman is this: it would the woman, the kind of person the woman is, tells you the reasoning behind Where her heart is. what she did. Okay, right. If I know that she's not a malicious woman, right. she's not a selfish woman. Okay. She, you know, she's not she trying to yeah. hurt me. Okay. you know right. what I'm saying? Then I'd be like, but babe. Why did you do that? I mean, if probably I probably won't be able to tell would, you that. <laughs> I would. No, no, no. I probably would because I would be in a position where I'm actually looking at myself. Like, have I not created an environment where you can come to me? Right, right, right. Right. Like, right. what, what could, what is going on? That, that would be my primary concern, right? That right. okay. First of all, wow, you did that. Okay, but wait how a minute. Can you not tell me? How can you not tell me? Yeah. I thought right. we were friends. I thought right. we were cool. I yeah. thought we were right. open. I yeah. thought we were. You know right. what I'm saying? So right. that would be it would depend but if it's a woman that I know 
only law like i know that you know she she manage manage by the grace of you feel me somebody like that you know what i'm saying then i may i may be like girl i mean i love you but i'm about to love you from a distance <laughs> because you can do it again because you can do that's it again. the problem it's one thing on this two time things another thing because and, you then, can and, do and, it then, again. and then and then the, the 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 other thing too that i would use as a determining factor now we're not speaking pastoral pastorally you forgive you forget you move on with your life sorry as a but, as a christian yeah period, the other thing that i would that i would say determines whether i would forgive and move on from the situation again because when we're talking about forgiving now right it's it's up to god to forgive mm -hmm. the reason why we're talking about forgiveness is really to bring it to the concept of trust yes because it's be only until you're able to forgive and move on can we begin to build trust, trust again you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. so in if that's the goal right if 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 the what's in view for the re the reason for the forgiveness is, is to, to build, build trust, trust yeah then these are that's the reason why i'm saying it would depend on a b c and d mm -hmm. but as far as forgiving just for the sake of forgiving I you will forgive. Move on. Move on. You know, no, it, it, but can... if 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 trust him, forgive and leave. Trust, yeah, forgive. You forgive. Him. <laughs> Is this forgive that way? Forgive, forgive and do this. I don't believe that. <laughs> if building trust though yes. is what's in view oh, here, yes. then um, it would depend on the kind of woman she is. It would depend on the heart posture that she had, and number two, it, it might also depend on this. Me answering. This is me speaking. Now, mm -hmm. It might also depend on. What would she do if the situation? If she found out that I had a vasectomy and I didn't yeah. tell her, correct? What would she have done? Yeah. What would she have done? Yeah. What would have been her response? Her response. Because yeah. I can give her her own pill too. Yeah. Uh, it made it taste of our own medicine. Knowing, time. knowing that that's the kind of person she, she is, is. Yeah. Mm. I'd be like, if it was you, we you wouldn't give me the grace. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? So you feel me? So that would that would just be my own. Okay. That's 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 a is that a carnal answer? That's a carnal. Is it is it is. No, it's a, it's a it's a realistic answer. Is that a flesh? Is that my flesh talking? Yes, that is. That is flesh. <laughs> we try to suppress the flesh. We're in the spirit, but 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 that would be. But now let's give a spiritual answer. I would pray for her. I would I would try to find out why she did that. I would forgive. It may be hard for us to build trust again, but I would trust would the Holy Spirit to help us to build yeah. trust. But would we end our marriage because of that? I don't think so. I don't. Should, the, the Bible does not give that as one of the uh, reasons, reasons to walk away. To walk away. Yeah. But you, you did break my heart and you broke, you my, broke trust my trust. And you're now have to we have to rebuild it. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. I think you've said it all. Okay. <laughs> the thing I was going to point out too is the way she was talking to in the video didn't really sound like she was remote. No, that's, that's, that's the annoying part. It sounded that's like it was just. Yeah. Well, that's that what it is. She wasn't. That is the annoying that's why I said, yeah. why do people, uh, you know, in in this in this um, on this shows, why do people think it's okay, okay. to to bring it yeah. on hair instead of trying to resolve the ma yeah. matter? And then that that could yeah. also now, if he then decides I don't want to be a part of this, his reason would be she's not remorseful about it, so that means she can do something like it again. Oh, she God knows has what all else. the things. Exactly. Only God knows what else she's even hiding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. So, and she said 2018. If I if I hear correctly, yeah. so yeah. only God knows when that video heard, and that's how many years they've been together. So it's been just together, crazy. Exactly. She yeah. hasn't even done it during their marriage. <laughs> she needs to first of all own our mistakes mm -hmm. before anything can even. Yeah, can okay. even be. Yeah, you're right. So, so now, go ahead. sorry, if she did this during her marriage, yeah. it's even ah. more of a problem because a lot of people, a lot of people these days, they live in the individualistic marriage. life yeah. in, marriage. in marriage. Yeah, it's my body. I can do I what do I want. I, want. Right. I can right. make my own decision. I don't have to talk to you about it. It's my baby. I don't, don't want to go there. No, no when you. Person. You become one. It's my body, just, my choice. More. No and, and that mentality. A lot of women. Because then, then we'll find ourselves talking about Camilla and, and Trump. <laughs> no, we, Which we don't want to go that right. Down, that right. Let's <laughs> just vote. Just vote. How, how, how does this, as we wrap it up, how does this reflect on the importance of shared decision making in marriage? Mm. How important 
is shared decision making in marriage. Mm. I mean, it goes back to what I just said right now. Mm-hmm. It cancels out individualistic living yes. in marriage. Yes. Because when you're making the decisions together, it's not a I, I, it's a us. It's a right. we. Regardless of who it affects or doesn't affect, if you have right. to get a vasectomy, we need to talk about that together because to at the end of the day, it does affect me. Mm-hmm. Right. You understand? It, when, right. when we've joined to become one, there's nothing we do individually yes. that doesn't affect the other person. Absolutely. And, and, and even if it's, it wasn't during the marriage, if this is a thing that affects us both, whether or not it affects us both, if it's something so important that I, that I, I should share, you should know. Yeah. Let's say, for example, because she could say, well, I did this before we got together. I didn't even know I was going to meet someone that I love. Mm-hmm. I didn't know. I was done with child, having children and mm-hmm. I just tied my tube. I just did it. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't think too much about it, right? Mm-hmm. This is this is a thing that you have made on your own before we became an item. Correct. Mm-hmm. But now that we're an item, whatever will affect us, not and just you, exactly. mm-hmm. whatever would affect us, us N- needs to be discussed needs, needs to, to be, be shared yes mm-hmm. absolutely. needs to be highlighted needs exactly. to be brought up like yo okay mm-hmm. you want to marry me you want to go mm-hmm. serious okay i got something i gotta tell you yeah this right. is important yeah mm-hmm. you, i know you have you want to be a dad in the future and you want to you want me to carry your baby but i got it you you gotta know this yeah you have to share mm-hmm. because yeah. go ahead and kudos to um, those women and men out there cool. that does that because, because you know, there, there are people out there who would, you know, do what we're saying now. And, you know, before before they, they get married, mm-hmm. they, they would lay everything or try to lay as much as they can on the table, uh, which is which is part of this. Well, this is the situation I've lived. I've lived this life in the past. And um, I just need you to know. I care about you, but it won't be fair to you to not let you know what you are about to get into, mm-hmm. you know? So mm-hmm. you, you have some men that would have kids outside, but would hide it mm-hmm. uh, or not say it mm-hmm. uh, and then wait till you get married. By the way, baby, I have, <laughs> I have <laughs> X, Y, Z. You need to understand. <laughs> the key you did. Daniela is exactly. coming. <laughs> <laughs> we need to understand that marriage is a, it's like a team sport. Yeah. You know, if one player is making moves without telling the other, the whole mm-hmm. team will suffer. Well, yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Every major decision needs to be shared, yeah. like you said. Yeah. It needs to be talked about. Yeah. The Bible says two becomes one flesh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What that yeah. means is one set of plans one shared future yep mm-hmm. yep it's not simple as one that. language yeah it's very simple <laughs> as that all right yeah. so we're gonna close on today but but i hope we've really shared something that's gonna help somebody in 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 decision making as as far as the importance of shared decision making is concerned how one person's decision can affect everybody mm-hmm it doesn't just affect you anymore especially when you're in a relationship like pk was saying the two becomes one and that means even your one decision can affect the two yeah you understand what i'm saying it's very important and we know that trials and temptation are bound to come from many Mm -hmm. corners right communication though is key we've said it over and in in any relationship especially in marriage Mm -hmm. and as we reflect on this scenario we are reminded of proverbs um, verse, I think it's verse three, chapter uh, chapter three, uh, yeah, Proverbs three, verse five, five to six. six. Mm-hmm. And if you read that, it encourages us to trust in the Lord and not to lean on our own understanding to bring mm-hmm. everything to Him, and it will guide our ways. Yes. Right? The wife in this video may may have done everything she did by leaning on her own understanding rather than on God. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, on on our own understanding rather than on God and Mm -hmm. not knowing what our future even holds. Right. Making decisions like that. If she had leaned on God, God would have probably told her, don't do it. Right. Mm -hmm. Because there's a great man coming in your your way in the future Mm -hmm. and it it, it might affect A, B, C, and D. Exactly. Right. That's why we lean on God because he, he as I always say, our future is God's past. Exactly. It is. He's Here been there, yeah. done that. He's seen it all. Mm-hmm. You follow what I'm saying? He has seen it all. So, and, and then in James 5 and 16 tells us that 
we should confess our sin to one another mm. and pray for each other so that we may be healed. Yes. Mm. We should That's confess. Yeah. A lot of people think it's only pastors we confess to. Mm-hmm. No, confess to one another. Well, some people, bro, <laughs> some people confess to the pastor and not to their husband. Absolutely. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? They, 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 but confess to one another. If you can't confess to your spouse, mm. who else are you going to confess to? Yeah. Exactly. You should be able to say, babe, I got a confession. What is it? Yeah. Say the confession and let's move on. Let's pray for one another mm-hmm. and let's heal and move on from it, right? And, and this verse here, that James 5, 16, is emphasizing the importance of mm-hmm. transparency and accountability yeah. in relationship, right? By fostering open communication. If they have open communication in their marriage, which is key, it's not just any community. Open, open that I can come to you at any time. You have an open door policy when it comes to our relationship that, babe, you can always talk to me at any given time about anything. Yeah. Anything at all. Don't think about, oh, you're a guy you wouldn't understand. My, don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. <laughs> don't ever do it. You wouldn't understand. Don't ever. Ooh, that was my <laughs> last. That was my last. <laughs> Yikes. That sounds, what? Whoa, wait a minute. Don't you ever do that. What? <laughs> but but my point is to say that by fostering open communication, <laughs> couples can avoid misunderstanding and strengthen their bond. Absolutely. Ever. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh. This podcast I'm a to turn. <laughs> What I rest my case. Are you, are you sure? Are you sure you're done? Yeah, 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 I rest my case. Oh man. All right, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you thank wouldn't you. understand. Who told you? <laughs> Like you heard that statement one too many oh times. Like if I hear you say that statement again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ay, ay, ay. all right. Thank you for that <laughs> concluding statement. <laughs> so here is the MDB news for the week. The Federal Reserve is set to hold its highly anticipated meeting to discuss potential changes to interest rates. Mm. <laughs> is it coming down? <laughs> Which could <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing I want to hear. Now. <laughs> implications on the on the economy. Yeah. So analysts like the people still, on this podcast are still, 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 still not saying where that's coming down or not. We are watching very closely <laughs> to see what the decisions of the Federal Reserve would be, whether it would increase, but God forbid, that <laughs> thing. <laughs> or it would maintain the current levels. No, it should go down. <laughs> To support economic growth, the outcome of this meeting could impact everything from mortgage rates to consumer spending. My God. For more updates and insights, please visit www.federalreserve.gov. We need them. In fact, let's put them in prayer. In prayer. That as you reduce... Oh, yeah. Interested. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. Go down. By force. Because, man, that interest rate is serious right now. Yes, man. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was I was talking to a friend of mine. I was like, um, if it comes down again, that I would I would um, what is it called? Um, what what did they do with refinance? Them? Refinance, and this own boy has the audacity to tell me that it's never going to come out, come down as low as as what you got to put. Yeah. Yeah. When I got it, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, ah, yeah. don't ship with me, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we got ours at four Our point something. Yeah, yeah I do. Mine, right? Mine, mine, mine right now is two point eight. What? Yes. <laughs> and you wanted to come down and down. Ah, yeah. Ah, I I'm good. You know, I'm great on the mountain. <laughs> That's low. Oh, wow, that's low. Yeah, low. the one we got was three point something. That's low. And now low. it's gone up to like the mortgage interest rate in general has gone up to like seven yeah, percent. Yeah, yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. 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 So don't refine us in bad ways. Just give it away to the you, refine us by it. You got a good deal. You got a good deal. As we it shock is. you. We just got seven. Whoop. I'm looking for like one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> you have said zero. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just don't pay mortgage rates. Just don't pay mortgage rates. I thought. 
that. Just tell them that you just don't want to pay money. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, man. All right, all right, all right. Here's the quote of the week. MDB quote for the week. Um, as you get ready to enjoy this weekend, here is our MDB quote of the week. Honesty is the highest form of intimacy. Mm -hmm. That's the best quote we've seen so far. Mm. Honesty is the highest form of intimacy. By my Omi. Your girl? <laughs> my girl. <laughs> Elaine Fisher. By your girl. Elaine Fisher. Honesty is the highest form of intimacy. That's deep. Elaine yeah. Fisher. Honesty yeah. is the highest form of intimacy. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. yeah. So you can't say you can't you can't claim that you're intimate with me if you're, if not, you're not honest. honest. If you're not honest. What's next? Exactly. exactly. Don't even tell me you love me. Ooh. Just be honest. If you can't be honest with me. You can't be honest with me. Yeah. We ain't intimate. Mm. Mm. Oh, deep. That's nasty. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's nasty. Yeah. That's nasty. I like that. Me like mm. it. Me like it. Me like it. Me like it. Well, all right. I hope we have shared a tip or two to help solidify your kingdom union, not only with yourself, yes. but also with others. And most importantly, with God on today. Don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe and to comment down below. And until next time, be the light. The soul. And remember, all, all things, all things are, possible. are possible if you believe. Ciao, Bella. Bye. Ciao, ciao, ciao. <laughs> Let us know in the comment session how y'all feel. Have a good one. Happy weekend. Bye-bye. Thank you.